What is up guys, Digital Next, and today we have a, a, a special episode, not really though, it's a darn man video, and uh, you know, dumb's gonna be in the title, so let's just go ahead and uh, see who's dumb in this video. Would you like to know your balance, sir? Sure. After this deposit, it is $1,016,012.93. Oh! Oh! <laughs> If that was my, I'd be like, dang, dad, we rich, we. My dad would be like, that's crazy. Cause that's my money. I'm like, I love you, dad. <laughs> that's crazy. Cause that's, that's our money now. Oh my gosh, you never told me we're millionaires. This changes everything. See? Well, I guess Where? after 25 years of hard work, it's finally paid off. <gasps> oh, hey, young man. You mind holding the door there for me, please? <laughs> no, no, do you know who you're talking to? I'm a millionaire now. Me holding doors for people. <laughs> That's interesting because I don't see your name on that bank account. I, I guess money does change people. You know, I like to think I've always I've always been very humble. I've I've always stayed true to myself. You know, money money has not changed me. Uh, not that I have any, but um, you know, I I spend my money on humble things like my beautiful anime girls behind me. Uh, I recently got into another hobby. I've been making Gundams. <laughs> look at that thing. That thing's pretty cool. Look at him. Yeah. I look at, I'm going to show you. Wait, wait, that's not even the, the coolest one. Hold on. Look at this bad. Look how big this bad boy is. That's an RX, RX 78. Oh, and I panel lined him. That's when you make the line. Trust me, it's not like the best work. But I'm still proud. Like, I, you know, I actually built this myself. It was fun. Uh, my mom, actually, my mommy bought this for me. Uh, she just said she was happy that I was getting into a hobby, uh, for boys instead of collecting anime girls. So, she's no longer allowed at my house. So, that's cool. But thank you for the Gundam, mom. I appreciate it. But yeah, I've been, I've been getting into Gundams. It's actually a really fun hobby. Uh, maybe I'll just make a video about all my hobbies and stuff and, and whatnot. Anyway, back to, uh, us poor folk. You know, there's nothing like the smell of a brand new car. When you said celebrate, I thought you meant go out to lunch or something. I didn't know you were talking about buying a whole Porsche. I promised myself one day that if I became a millionaire, I'd buy myself this car. Already, he's going to go start buying stuff. He, like I, I told you, he thinks our money. You worked hard for 25 years? No, we worked hard for 25. I ain't even 25 years old. We worked hard for 25 years. Don't you worry, Dad. I was right there beside you in spirit, cheering you on all the way. How nice of you to buy us a Porsche. I can't wait to drive this thing. Can you buy me these new pair of shoes, uh, please? Fine, I'll buy you the new shoes. Anything else, my prince? Uh, yeah. <laughs> a, a brand new phone? Oh, a, a Vision Pro. You should have just told him no. Why did you say yes and call him print? That was the dumbest thing you could have said. You, you should have been like, you must have not heard my story. I said I was working hard. This is my money, not your money. I, I, I basically told you if you work hard and maybe in 25 to 30 plus years, maybe more, I don't know, you can be where I'm at. You can be a millionaire as well. Cause I'm a millionaire. You're not though. You. Dude, what the heck, Sal? You just stepped on my new shoes. I, I am so sorry, Kyle. I, I didn't mean to. You didn't mean to? You didn't mean to. Do you know how much these cost? <sighs> what am I saying? You're a brokey. Whoa, you just got throw the B word around like that? How dare you? Anyway, this, this was a real public school. Uh, Both of them would get beat up. One for stepping on some new shoes and two for walking around like a total, you know, clown with all that stuff on. I mean, honestly, how many people have you seen walking around with the Vision Pro? I haven't seen anyone walking around with the Vision Pro on. That's probably because I don't go outside, so I'm not gonna run into them. I don't think it's worth it right now. What is so special about that? I gotta carry a battery pack around with me. If someone really wants you, just go up and snip that bad boy. Bet his family doesn't even have $1,000 in his bank account. <laughs> Why do you? Why did Dude. Naruto run? It's not cool to talk about Sal Why did Naruto way. run? Sal, he's poor. We'll, we'll ignore the Naruto run for a second. <laughs> um, <laughs> that he knew what he was doing. Um, I forgot this dude. This dude blew my mind with calling someone a brokey, and I can't even remember what I was gonna talk about or get on him about. 
Walmart got some good stuff. You know they sell Chuck E. Cheese pizza at Walmart? I bet you didn't know that. Actually, I'm gonna go buy some tomorrow. I'm curious to try. I haven't had Chuck E. Cheese pizza since I was like 10 or something. I don't know. My dad gave me $10,000 to spend on his credit card because I just found out we're officially millionaires. Shh, keep it down, bro. You don't want the people hearing. What are you talking about, Jeremy? Yeah, I do. Your dad probably thought it was going to take you a long time to go through that $10,000 that you were just going to, you know. He probably didn't think you are going to blast 10K right away and then... That's a lot of money just to just... If you're not a millionaire, that's a lot of money just to, you know, blast through. I, I don't know. Money my family has without me even having to say anything. But, you know. Oh, or better yet, for me to know everyone's worth so I can make fun of people who are broke. That's a horrible idea. But you could probably figure it out with augmented reality. Uh, if anyone would know, it would probably be Nelson. While the technical challenge is intriguing, I still must consider the ethical complexities inherent with taking on the proposition. What did you just say, nerd? Speak cool before I beat you up. And <laughs> say something in English. I can't understand you. Anyways, how obnoxious. I don't know. The, anytime you see someone doing something like that, please just ignore. I want you to just straight up ignore them. If you know someone is showing something off, the best thing you can do for you that is going to annoy the person showing anything off is being ignored because obviously they want everyone to look at them and give them attention to see what they got. Or like say a, a person shows up at your school with a nice car, nobody say anything. If no one says anything or, or even looks at the car, even ask about it, it will drive that person insane. I want everyone to think about this. You could literally gaslight anyone and anything. Oh my gosh, you would make so many people crazy. All right, someone's like, oh, I just got a new car, I'm gonna show it off at school. And if no one paid attention or asked about the car, they would lose it. They would be pissed. Can you do this or not? Bro, Kyle, chill. From a technical standpoint, yes. I would just need to devise a sophisticated application programming interface capable of communicating with financial databases and then integrate it into augmented reality. Dang, Kyle, just be like, yeah, it's gonna cost you like, it's, it's gonna take a lot of time. So probably like 2000 to $5,000, but that shouldn't be a problem for you because your, your family's millionaires, aren't they? I have it done by tomorrow. That's all I needed to hear. Bro, Thanks, you, Nelson. You, you could have made some money off of that. You ain't, you ain't that smart, whoa, 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 Nelson. Watch where you're going. The only jacket I wear is this whole janitor's jacket. I would love to have a jacket like that one day. I'll pay for this jacket. No, th this jacket costs a couple of grand. Do you have enough to cover that? Gosh, look at you. You're obviously not because you're a janitor. I don't, I don't think I let anyone speak to me like that, but I just beat them up. I think I'm gonna let someone under 5'5 five five talk to me like that? Ah, uh, ah, uh, no sir. I don't know his height. He could probably be like 5'6". My dad's way outside, so if you don't mind hurrying it up a little bit. Okay. Oh, uh, hey, look. I got you. Thanks. <laughs> don't worry, my lady, I got you. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I got you. <laughs> I am a gentleman, as they say. <laughs> All right, I said I'm in a hurry, so if you don't mind going faster for me. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um... Bro, scan the clothes! I know you didn't get very far in life since you're a middle-aged woman making minimum wage, but I'm the son of a millionaire. Kyle! I feel like my dad would have beat me in front of everyone and embarrassed me. I. I would do that. I would in totally humble my child. I'd humiliate them in front of that person and make them apologize right after. I, <laughs> if my dad's watching this, I will never forget the one time my dad, he didn't embarrass me, but he did scold me is because we were, we were going Christmas tree. Uh, we were going to go chop down a Christmas tree and we went to this breakfast place and I was really hungry. Obviously digital, of course you were. <laughs> anyway, anyway. We were at this breakfast place and they were just kind of taking a little bit for our food. And I was small, you know? Uh, when the lady came out with our food, I said, finally, I was like, finally, like that. And my dad made me apologize. They embarrassed me, but he made me apologize. So, and I, I think, you know, it's all for the better. You should treat everyone with respect, regardless of who they are. <sighs> How much money have you spent? You know, your total budget is 10 K. I don't know. I mean, my credit card still works, so I guess, you know, I'm still under that. It doesn't work that way, Kyle. Oh, bro. 
I mean, it's an American Express. You you can set a limit and stop and freeze the account once it goes to a certain amount. Also, I, I still haven't made I haven't heard you make it clear to your son that he's not a millionaire. He is not a millionaire. That you're a millionaire. You haven't made that clear. Just because you're it's like I see some people complaining now that celebrities aren't gonna leave their children money. And people are like, oh, that's messed up. Oh, blah, blah. they don't have to. If my parents didn't want to leave me money, then that's fine. You know, <laughs> someone's like, I can see digital soul dying in his eyes. If they don't, they don't want to. They don't have to. It's money that your parents worked for. You got to go out, out and make your own money. You got to get up, forge your own fortune. Oof. You spent over twenty thousand dollars. We're returning everything right now. I'll, I'll figure out a way to pay the 10K I overspent. I, I promise. But if that card isn't paid down within a week, I'm returning it all. Oh, come on, Nelson. I thought you said it was done. My thing is, why do you care if this program works? All it is is you're gonna you're not even making any money off the program. You're just using it to to see family other people's money you, you know you're not even like stealing money or anything so what, what do you need the program to work for this thing doesn't work it doesn't say anything about your net worth that's because i programmed it to block you from seeing mine oh very <laughs> clever nelson oh. <laughs> whoa dude you're definitely not the son of millionaires oh my gosh it says here that your family's net worth is seven thousand two hundred ninety one dollars I'd be like, the only thing that's gonna be broke is your jaw if you keep going. But hey, what do I know? Thankfully you have money to fix that, right? <laughs> well, looks like your family has $82,162. Wow, nice. They'll be at six figures soon, huh? Wow, tell your parents to keep working hard and maybe they won't be so broke soon. That's crazy. Who knew so many broke people went to public school? My God. What's going on here at Bookside? Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Because he's cooking in the soup kitchen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I was making fun of you the last time, Sal, I, I, I didn't realize you were like, broke, broke. Dang, dude. Your family really only has $126? Janet over there is making more money than your family and he's mopping the floors for a living. Listen, last time you made fun of me and I Naruto ran out of here. There was a reason for that. All right, man, I'm gonna have to go ahead and send you to the shadow room. You did this to you. <laughs> you did this to yourself! <laughs> oh, dude, hey. jokey. What? You shouldn't have said that. You realize their family's getting evicted from their home, right? He'll, he'll get over it. All right, co come on, let's go test this thing outside and really have some fun, huh? Anyone else getting rice gum vibes? I feel like if rice gum was rich in high school, he probably would be. He probably would have been like this. This is me. I don't know him personally. I'm just saying. You're poor. You're poor. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. I wonder how much money this guy has. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to go outside in uh in LA and tell people they're poor. That just seems like a bad time waiting to happen. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, 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 hey, Will, is, is this your wallet? Is, is this your wallet? Yes, thank you so much. I was looking everywhere for this. Here. I need to help more rich people, man. That's crazy. God, man, I, who knew that doing a, a random act of kindness or just a human, you know, just being a decent human being would give me such a reward. That's crazy. I'm not saying that every time you help someone out, they're gonna give you a reward. You shouldn't expect that, but you know, maybe just try being a decent human being. That's how I'm gonna pay back my dad's credit card. Do you do you know how I could get to the um, Bel Air Estates? You, you mean where all those really wealthy people live? <laughs> I doubt they'll let you in, man. That's where, that's where my home my is. I do let oh, them oh, dogs yeah, breathe. I'm Batman. Okay, okay, he was mean, I get it. Uh, you know, I I would be a little wary. I'd be like, yeah, man, you go over here, but there's tons of security as a heads up. So, but Bel Air Estates are that way. Uh, he just doesn't look sound of mind and could be dangerous, so. I'm, but I'm sure the rich people got security, so. Let's go find some more rich people, eh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, little fella. Uh, here, you can have my lunch. Here. 
Nah, bro, I'm chunky. He can have a bite. That's about it. I ain't feed him off my fork. He can have a bite and, and dip. You know, I'm eating my lunch. I spent $10,000 on my dad's credit card that I'm not supposed to, and he's not happy. Can you try getting a job? No, no, no use. It, it takes me forever to make that much, and I don't even have enough time. You poor child. Let me play a little sad, sad violin, the world's smallest violin. You know, just, oh, so sad. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. I like how he was like, I spent money on my dad's credit card, money I didn't have. I was, <laughs> I'd be like, dang. That was pretty dumb. Uh, that sounds like a very stupid thing to do. You sound like you don't know how credit cards work. You know. You literally just gave your entire lunch to a dog. Look how happy the dog is. Yeah, but what mm -hmm. do you get in return? Nothing. Well, you know. You Bro, I could steal that dog right now and no one would know. His whole life would change. He wouldn't even know he got dog napped. I used to teach my son when he was growing up that a person's true character was defined by Their how actions? they treated somebody who could do oh. nothing for them in return. Yeah, he's probably working some minimum wage job. No offense, but I don't want to take advice from a poor old lady who gives lunch to a ram dog. See, this is why I treat everyone with kindness, all right? I treat everyone with kindness just in the off chance that one of them happens to be a billionaire looking for someone, just for a random stranger to give all their money to. You know? <laughs> uh, that's why I'm always kind, no matter you. Ah, 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 treat everyone with respect. Just in the off chance, you know? Just in that 1% chance, just in case. There's no way she's worth over 100 million. Maybe she does know what she's talking about. I can't. Uh, hey man, uh, d d I'm sorry, uh, d do you need help? I'm just trying to find my way home to my family. Uh, uh, do, do you have an address? I, I know Bel Air Estates is a gated community. I, I see, as soon as he said, I'm like, you live in Bel Air Estates? And he was like, yeah, my family lives there. I'd be like, bro, they've probably been looking for you and there's probably a reward. I mean, there's there's probably people worried. Sorry, I don't, I get reward and worried mixed up. My bad. They're probably worried about you. So we're, let's go get you, let's go get you home. I doubt they'll let you in, but hopefully this helps you. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. Ignore me wiping my nose on my shirt. <laughs> I, you know, I would love to be in the Darn Man Cinematic Universe, you know? Every lesson can be learned within a day. One, I could just be there and be like, you know, I just gotta learn not to be so chunky anymore, and in a day, I'd, I'd be fit. You don't have to return everything. Remember, the deal was anything over 10,000. I, I know, Dad, and I appreciate it. But I'd rather work hard for it and earn it over time like you did. Bro, none of those shops are taking oh, any um, of that stuff back. I did place an Uber on your card. Sorry, Dad, it, it was to help this homeless person. Wow, son. After after you making, after you basically bullying a, a nerdy kid into making a program that lets you see people's net worth, going around all day, calling people poor, uh, all it took was m rich people, actual rich people, r richer than your family to, to humble you. Crazy, what an experience. I still don't think you've learned your lesson um, and I think you need to be punished for this. God, I hope the FBI gets on him for making, for using that program. You, but what are you doing here? I wanted to personally thank you for helping my son. I have a mental condition where if I am not on my pills, I'm not all there. But somehow I got out of the house a while ago and I just... Bro, like a dog got out of the house. <laughs> all right, I'm serious. This is, this is an actual problem with people in my bed. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> Oh man, I hate that everything works out in the end for the for Darn Man people. I really do. I need I need some sweet justice, you know. I want her to be like, thank you for finding my son, but because you were so rude to me and basically blew me off, I just wanted to say thank you and that's it. I was gonna go ahead and give you a reward, maybe pay off that credit card, but I I think you know what you did a good deed and that should be the that should be the reward. When I saw the Uber, I had to ask what account called it. I connected the dots and realizing it was you. In appreciation. Oh, no, thank you, but th this really isn't necessary. I didn't help him to get something in return. I know. That's what makes it so much more special. 
No, you didn't have to. You didn't you didn't have to do any of that. That's very kind of you. That is extremely kind. I don't need to accept this, but I will. Thank you. Do you look at that? Your first day helping people with pure intentions, and the universe is rewarding you already. Whoa. That's exactly how much I know. I, I told her the amount. She must have remembered. Well, I guess you don't have to return all the stuff anymore. I still want to, but can I do something else with this instead? Oh, you're gonna go help the kid who's getting evicted from his house, and uh, I can already see it. And I'm not gonna watch it because that's cringe. Um, <laughs> digital good deeds is cringe. Yeah, here it is. Uh, in in the videos they are. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button and turn on that little bell for notifications so you know when I go live or I post a new video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.